Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Yeah, shut up, Pee Wee. All right, hey, my name is Major Slack, and welcome back to Major Slack videos. Your first offer, titillating tactical gaming, and we're playing some more prey. We're walking through some more prey, and this is how to get the Neuromod fabrication plan. That's right, you can fabricate Neuromods. Now, this is a combination walkthrough video slash how to video. So, let's get everybody on the same page just in case you walked in cold and you don't know where we are or what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just going to show you quickly where I am. I'm in the fabrication room. Okay, and we just we just whacked a technopath, big badass technopath. Want to see that? Watch the previous video in the playlist. All right, and let's get outside, go through the decontamination process here, back out into the Neuromod Division lobby. Which is basically the first lobby you come into where you pick up the glue cannon. Okay, I'm gonna just make sure everybody's on the same page here. We're on the mezzanine. Let's just jump down to the second floor. We're at the first floor. Alright, so this lobby is already clear. If you recall correctly, you picked up your first glue cannon from this guy here. Okay, and you come into this area here, and this is the Neuromod Division lobby. Alright, now. This is how you get the Neuromod Fabrication Plan. Um, I'm assuming that you've already been to your office, to Morgan Yu's office. And in Morgan Yu's office area, uh, there's a little side office that belongs to a girl called Bianca Goodwin. Okay, check out Bianca Goodwin's computer and you're going to get a key code. That key code is to the volunteer quarters and that's up on the mezzanine. Now, I showed you this in a previous video. Just in case, like I said, people have missed this and not following the walkthrough. There's two ways to get up to the mezzanine. mezzanine. One is you can fix this grav shaft here. This will require the repair neuromod. All right. Engineer repair. I have it. I'm not going to use it because I'm just assuming that not everybody has this. You don't need that, though, to get up to the mezzanine. And, of course, after you fix the grav shaft, um, you can go in here and zoop, you'll shoot up to the mezzanine. All right. Don't need that though. All you need is the glue cannon. And everybody's got the glue cannon. You can use the glue cannon to climb walls. I've already got a well placed wall climber here. Just plunk one out, you know, like that. Just like that. And you can climb these. And this should be high enough to climb all the way up to the mezzanine. Alright, so now we're up on the mezzanine. Let's go this way. Here's some flowers I got to, forgot to pick. Grab these. Grab these. Over here. Now we already went through this whole area here. Right, this is the volunteer quarters, and like I said, Bianca Goodwin's computer will give you the key code to get in, alright? It's dark in here, right? Go in here. We already alluded this. Watch the previous video to see that. Hang a left here and go into this office here. Go to the maintenance access panel behind this desk here. Up or down. Go in here. Turn to the left and find another wall you can climb here. Plunk out some glue. Climb the wall. And this should be high enough. Yeah, it should this should be high. That first one should be high enough to get you to the top. Maybe not. Okay, let's plunk another one here. This can be a little finicky. There we go. Yeah, it's a little finicky. There we go. And up you go into this area here. Fabrication. Now, we've already looted this area here. Watch the previous video to see that. Go through here. Go through this hole here. Drop down and into this area here. All right? Now, if you're coming here for the first time, watch out. There's a big badass techno path in this area. It's way above your pay grade. You want to see how to take it down with the shotgun and some explosives? Once again, watch the previous video. And this is where we started. Now, if you don't want to take him down, all you have to do is come out here, make sure that, you know, he's away somewhere. He makes a tour around the area, okay? All you have to do is just speed run to this body here and grab everything on him, okay? Including the key card to Halden Graves' office. Double back here, take the grab shaft up. Halden Graves' office is right here. You're going to have to keep a low profile profile when you're doing this because that technopath can come up here too, okay? Now you can get into his office, booyah, come in, hang a right, go to this table here, and bingo, there's the Neuromod Fabrication Plan. You can now 
make neuromods. Yeah, if you got the materials. Right, so that's how you get that. So that's the end of the how-to part of this uh, video. Now let's get back to the walkthrough part. Um, <clears throat> what I want to do is, um, yeah, later on in this video, don't go away. <laughs> later on in this video, uh, I'm going to make five neuromods because I got the goods to do so. Uh, first of all, I want to empty out my inventory. So let's go back downstairs. There's a recycler downstairs that we restored by repairing it. It's right here. And I desperately need some space in my inventory, so... What did I do? I don't want to do that. Give me back that wrench. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's what I want to do. And there's a couple of other things I can afford to... Like all these small food stacks. I just want to keep the big stacks. Because the small food stacks, they're, they're not really worth it to take up a space like that. We can recycle that, uh, recycle that. What's this here? Shaker lemon pie, recycle that. That's a big stack. Like anything four or above I keep for my, you know, to restore my health. This we can recycle, that can recycle. Veggie blend, that can recycle. And that should give me enough space. Keeping everything else for now. Recycle. Let's go out and get some more materials. There's a lot of uh, busted electronic parts here. These are good for mineral materials, spare parts there. When you make neuromods, typically, okay, typically the bottleneck is exotic material. Let me show you the, the recipe to make um, neuromods. Here we go. One organic material, two mineral, two synthetic, and three exotic. Okay, that's always the bottleneck here. Okay, but I got a ton of exotic because I just took down um, that uh, technopath. And I've been collecting like crazy throughout this walker. So I have enough. But what's going to happen is I'm going to run short on mineral. I want to make five and I'm going to be a little short on mineral. So um, later on in this video, you're going to be shocked at what I do. <laughs> Absolutely shocked. I can't believe you did that, Slack. Yeah, yeah, I did that. What do you get do, Slack? Keep watching. Okay, so grabbing absolutely everything. Let's go up here. And I know I left a bunch of stuff behind in what's his face his office. We're going back there in Halden Gray's office. We're going back there. It's just that I know I was going to overload my inventory if I attempted to pick everything up. So that's why I went down to the recycler. Okay, so as usual, uh, doing running commentary has distracted me and split my attention. Let me just take a look around here. Looks like I got everything. Anyways, I'll find out when I get back to the, the fabricator and I attempt to make some neuromods. You gave up your union dues. And we're good. Let's go back up to Halden Gray's office and loot that. I love these grab, grab shafts. They're so cool. <laughs> they are so freaking cool. Okay, on Halden Gray's body is burn circuit board and a weapon upgrade kit, EMP charge, and a Psy Hypo. He's also got... Did I already get that? He's got an audio log. Let's listen to that. You can listen to that while I continue looting. Where'd the audio log go? Oh, here. Sorry. There we go. Okay, you can listen to this so I can continue looting. Send lab secure. All except for Igwe. But he'll be up all night. Speaking of up, did you see the photos of his daughter, Maya? But that's not his daughter. It's his wife. Are you kidding me? No, she died. Well, when Igwe was younger, it's in his records. Christ, you've seen his records? Yeah. 
During the security checks, looking for those red flag sykes that the brass is up in arms about? Apparently, came home, found her dead on the floor. Aneurysm. Spend your life studying the brain. The brain takes its toll. With everything else going on at the time, with the shaming... Christ. He already said that. But I don't think he heard you. He's not looking at this station, that's for sure. Okay, and there's another one to listen to. Let me just hotkey my wrench so I can break this. Alex, I figured it out. Just too late. Graves, are you still in fabrication? The receptor molecules, the exotic neurotransmitters, we didn't synthesize them. And there's no terrestrial source. Graves, don't do anything drastic. You know me. You know I always have a contingency plan. We've been shoving it into our skulls. It all comes from them. But you, you never... I'm going to send someone to help you. I need to get this out now. Oh, God, but the neuromods, they can still be fabricated. Graves, do not touch the neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? Okay, so here we go. Halden Graves was attempting to revoke the neuromod fabrication licenses because he's bailing out. He realizes the error of his ways and doesn't want anything more to do with this diabolical plot. Um, I don't think that this has any effect on the game strategy at all, but I usually cancel it because, I don't know, it just seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> so that's it. Um, we looted everything down there. We looted Halden Graves' office. Um, we're ready to rock. Let's go make some neuromods. We're gonna have to go back to Morgan Yu's office where the rest of my materials are stashed in the safe. So that's the plan. Let's do it. You okay, should be able to jump down here safely. All right, back in the Talos One lobby. We've already cleared out this area. Except for some flowers I forgot to pick here. These are all good for organic material. Which is rarely, um... There's rarely a shortage of that. Typically, it's mineral material and exotic material that you're going to be missing when it comes to crafting stuff. That's what I found. Mineral and exotic. Alright, so. Let's make sure uh, empty up the inventory here. Let's yank out all the materials we have stored in the safe. That could be stacked up in the safe. And we're good. Go to the inventory, sort by type. There's all our materials. I usually like to organize them in the order that they appear in the, <coughs> pardon me, fabricator to make it a lot easier to figure out what I'm short on. And just as I thought, I'm short on mineral to make five neuromods. I can make four. Typically you're short on the exotic. It's three exotic. One organic, two mineral, two synthetic, and three exotic. Now to make five, I need two and a half more mineral. Yeah. Now, since I don't use the shotgun, <laughs> here's where the shotgun part may come. Um, we can split this stack of shotgun shells. Okay. Bring this guy over here. And we can see that this... Here we go. This stack of 14 shotgun shells is actually worth 2.52 mineral material. So, if we recycle that... Recycle shotgun shells? Yeah, recycle shotgun shells. I don't use the shotgun, so I, you know. No, Slack, no, please, say it ain't so. No, don't do it, Slack. I beg you, don't do it. Ah! Yeah. I want another neuromod.
So did that do it? What do we got here? Yep, exactly 15 mineral. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's start neuro modding. Place the materials there. Create. There's one neuro mod. Create. Two. Create. Three. Four. And five. <laughs> yeah, stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. Let me just save the game here just in case. It's always good to save the game before you spend a lot of neuro mods. Alright, now I know exactly what I want to do with all these neuro mods. I want to continue um, going up the lab tech tree because there's another weapon later on. I'm not going to say which because I don't want to you know, do any spoilers. But there's another kick-ass weapon coming on later on that we're going to get that also requires the lab tech tree to upgrade. And it's going to be perfect. Okay, right now I've been upgrading the glue cannon, okay, which requires the lab tech tree. And to get the final upgrade here requires lab tech too. So that's what I'm going to get, right? Lab tech too. Yeah, that's an engineer down here. Lab tech too. Oh yeah. Easy daddy. So now we can get the final upgrade for incapacitation rate. And we have a weapon upgrade kit. Let's spend it. Boom. And the glue cannon has maximum incapacitation rate. Right? 225%. That means it just takes like three or four shots to completely incapacitate um, a phantom. It's nuts. It, it really gives you a lot of control. Right? So that's our glue gun. Um, what else do they want to do? Um, I think that's about it. That's what I want to do in this video. Next video, we're going to get back to questing. Push ahead with this one here through the da through a glass darkly and head into the hardware labs section. Another map, all right? Where is the maps? Yeah, we haven't discovered this section yet. Hardware labs, this is where we got to go. All right, that's coming up next video. And I'll try to remember what the last thing I wanted to do. Maybe just organize my inventory. I'll do that off camera. And I will see you next video. Hey, if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, if you know what to do, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my kick videos hot off the press. All right, see you next video.